Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this um, saw blade, and it's terrible. It would take a lot of work. This is so easy to draw. This would should be one of the easiest things you could draw. And I've made one, and I've used one for years, and this is actually cut out, and you could put any kind of name. You could take these out. If you're not a woodworker, these are uh, laser-cut lines in the blade. And it helps with uh, vibration. It uh, lets the blade, uh, takes the tension out or whatever. But most blades today are going to have these cuts, which just kind of adds to it. I drew this years ago. I am going to share this blade on my Facebook page, Corel File, Corel Draw Fair, File Share. And it'll be right here, here under the files. And as soon as I load this video up, it'll be there. So it'll be on Facebook. If you if you ever want a saw blade, but this is so easy to draw. I'm going to draw one almost like this. It has uh, 30 30 tips. So we're going to take the polygon tool and set our polygon on 30 tips, 30 points, and we are going to hold down the control button to get a perfect one. I'm going to put P and put it in the center of the page, and then I'm going to take one of these nodes and I'm just going to kind of angle it over and what's neat about the polygon tool it does it to all of them now you select both those and right click and you turn it into a curve then you can take that center line and kind of give your saw blade a little bit of a twist and you can play around with that till you know the cows come home what I like about it you can keep changing it um, it might even be better to get a saw blade off the internet. And um, that looks pretty good. That looks like a, a rip saw blade. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a, so if you would cut this out, I'm going to add a carbide tip because most blades are carbide tip now. So I'm going to draw a little bitty rectangle. And I'm going to put it on that tip. And I'm going to angle it. And I just want it encompassing that whole tip. And that's pretty good. Then I'm going to smart fill that void in. So there's my carbide tip. I'm going to get rid of my rectangle. Now, let's double click on it and put the rotation to the center. I'm going to bring into some indexing lines to make sure it's in the center. So I'm just bringing in indexing lines and see it's not in the center. So let's do that again because it needs to be exactly in the center. And a lot of times Corel will do that. But now it's in the center. I'm going to go up to Arrange, Open Transformation, Docker, Rotation. There's 30 tips. 12 times 30 is 360. We need 30, but we only need 29 because we've already got one. Hit apply. That gave you some carbide tips. Just to add a little flare. Now, this is going to increase your lasering time quite a bit. But if you're just doing one or two of them for a pretty good customer, and then you could add your text. Uh, this particular one had a like a circle in it. It kind of added to it. But that could be done. Just take your ellipse tool, draw you a circle, hit P, put it in the center of the page. You could expand it out a little bit, hit P, put it in the center of the page. Double click on your pen tool, get away from a here line, let's go 0.1 inch. Scale with object just in case you're going to change the size. And then go to black and make it a black line. That would add a little flare to your engraving and then crafted by Wayne or whatever you want to put and what's so nice you're in the center of the page you just type out your text and then hit center of the page and then you can make this thing as small I mean this is 12 inches uh, I've made some clocks like this and uh, everything now just a word of warning you when you move somewhere there you can't hit P because that's what's going to happen it put all those carbide tips to the center so you need to group it, control G, and then you can hit P. I didn't evidently get it all. Go up to arrange, group, group, 
P, and then you could type out your text. You know, put anything you want. Um, you know, I'm having trouble typing. Let's just start over. Center justify it. Pick your text, your font you want. Hit P. A lot of times Corel does that. You've got to back up and hit the pick tool and then hit P. And then you can make this as large or as small as you want. Just stretch it out, hit P. You know, make should have been made in Doug Shop. Anyway, that's a neat little gift. Uh, I make some for people that they put on the bottom of furniture that they made. Uh, they adhere it to the furniture and uh, it just kind of adds to it. And if you want this blade, tell you what, before I post it, I'm going to put one with carbide tips on it so you'll have both of them. So anyway, just go to my Facebook page. If you're not a member, ask to join. I almost let everybody in. Um, I've got like a thousand people on my members now and and uh, we've got I've got a lot of files on there if you want to look through them and they're pretty neat things everything I've drawn anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching